what's going on S squad welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing a my team video uh, I haven't done one of these in a little bit I think the last one I did was that pack opening but you guys showed a lot of love on that thank you for that but today I'm going to be teaching you how to reach level 40 in 2k21 and as you guys know there's a new season or the first season it's the one will rise season and you get for winning let me go over to it uh, if I know how to use a PS4 controller you get this Steph Curry 96 overall I'm about halfway I'd say about halfway um, not in level but just XP wise so we're level 35 we're getting there we're getting there but I'm gonna tell you guys the ways I've gotten up here we got 13 days still I think I'll be able to get it but yeah if you guys uh, enjoy like content like this make sure to leave a like and subscribe but without further let's get right to this all right so a lot of the challenges that I have started to do uh, mainly the first one uh, I recommend doing is daily challenges if you've been doing your daily challenges and there I'll go down to mine uh, if your daily challenges are like mine where you get 550 XP you get 550 XP per day and uh, let me get a calculator up so if you've been doing your daily challenges you will be able to get 22,000 XP by this the end of the season which is a a really big chunk out of the uh, 150,000 if you just do your daily challenges which they're not even that hard like this one get three assists with a point guard you could do that in one game play an unlimited game uh, you don't even have to win it it's just you have to play it and player of the game you just play a game of domination and you get this it doesn't even have to be with anyone so this is really if you do your daily challenges you will get Steph Curry well I wouldn't say just daily challenges but if you do everything I tell you plus the daily challenges you will most likely get Steph Curry so next the challenges you want to start off with they've been releasing moment challenges cuz uh, the NBA is back as you guys know it's about to end uh, finals the Lakers are up 2-0 in the series I'm actually happy that the Lakers are winning, one, just because I'm a fan of them, two, uh, the challenges. They've been releasing challenges, and I have all the good Laker players. I have LeBron, I got AD, got Dwight, he's been doing good, Danny Green, I do not have him, but I'm thinking about getting them. But as you see in these challenges, uh, there is a lot of XP to get in these. Uh, score 60 points with a Lakers player. If you don't have LeBron or AD... I recommend using that locker code that just came out and try to get LeBron out of it. Uh, I'll pop the locker code up right now for people that want to use it. Um, I think it's still available, but that is a good way to get uh, 60 points. And then if you have AD, 34 points with him in triple threat offline. Uh, just that's that's two games. It's pretty easy. And then LeBron James double double. If you have that card and get a double double, that's easy 500 XP. Three blocks on any player. I use Dwight because uh, his lock's really good. And then uh, free throws, I use LeBron as well. I did not, uh, I'm not trying for the Danny Green. That's just probably going to be impossible for me. I'll, I might give it a go. A day and six hours. So yeah, I might give it a go. But this is a free, how much XP is this? That's a 4,200 4, XP right here. And they've also had all their other moment challenges like I know they had a bunch with Tyler Hero when he dropped 37. Yeah, and then they had a, uh, some other moment challenges. But these are a good way to get your XP up. This is the. I'd probably still be like level 33 if it wasn't for these challenges. They're really good challenges. So, another challenge that I have. Uh, I recommend doing. So, the first thing, if you're new to my team, uh, I recommend going to the domination and getting 99 stars on the first domination because you get 3,000 XP that is a a lot of XP uh, one of the I think it's the highest XP challenge out of everything so I recommend doing that and if you've got the X or if you got the MT I recommend buying these guys the a diamond and a pink diamond they're really good uh, after that I would probably out of these challenges I'm working on triple threat I got 101 wins trying to get to 300 don't know if I will but I'll keep going at it. And uh, Triple Threat Online. I've been doing some of those. Got 50 ball drops out of the 260. That's another 3,000 XP. So I'm going to be trying to go for that. So those are those challenges. And 
if you complete all 10, or you get 50 tokens, which 50 tokens uh, this early in 2K, you're going to get someone good. You're going to get someone that might make your lineup for me. Not yet, but I'm getting there. I'm getting to the Amethyst. But those are the One Will Rise challenges. Now, the challenges I also recommend are just doing these little challenges. Like, uh, let me just pick one out that I've been doing. Jeff T, for example. Yeah, it's 34 points and 18 assists over multiple games. Yeah, it's 300 XP. You, you At first, you'd probably be like, that's not a lot. 300 XP adds up if you do a lot of these challenges. Like, this is 900 XP for doing Jeff Teague right there. Uh, here's uh, 975 for doing Wally. And then Stojakovic. Here's uh, 1,000. So that's like right here. This is about 3,000 XP for doing all three of these guys. That's a lot for, that's a lot of XP just for doing like simple things like like scoring. Uh, you just have to you just have to put this guy in your domination team, and just like play a game, and you you got 300 XP. And one of the other things I recommend doing: do multiple players at once. Don't just do don't just like just load into a domination game just having one objective. Have multiple players you're working on. Because, like, you can get, like, 2,000, 3,000 XP a game if you do that. Alright, so, another thing I recommend doing are these week challenges. You see, like, they got week 3, week 4, week 5. We're on week 5. I've done a bunch of these. I've done week 2, week 3. Work. I've been, I'm working on week 4 and 5 right now. Week 1, I, I feel like week 1's a little too hard for me to do. 10 assists and unlimited with a Hawks point guard. Yeah, I probably could do it. I might try to work on that. But, yeah, that one should be... I don't know. I like these, like, uh, week five challenges. You get a pretty good amount of XP. I might try to work on this one next. Th make three dunks in a single game with a Thunder player. 500 XP, that's a lot. But I recommend doing these uh, week challenges, because uh, let's just... Uh, Let's go down here to week two. So there's four of them. So for right here, this is uh, 575 XP for doing that one. Six, seven, 850 for doing this one. Uh, 700 for doing that one. And uh, 750 for doing that one. So that's like, probably like around 3,000. I'll have the actual number pop up right now because I don't know how to do math like that big of math right now But that's a pretty good amount of XP and just like for those week two just starting off That's gonna bump you up a few levels. So if you're like really low level That'll bump you up a few levels for me 2,000 3,000 XP is not gonna bump me up a level It's just not gonna bump me up a level. You got 10,000 to get up a level. I'm working on it I'm working on it. Hopefully by the end of the night maybe level 36 i might be pushing it there but i'll try so the sixth thing i recommend doing in this uh season is reward the token market i would uh buy a like so you see there's uh three challenges emerald reward market so sapphire and the ruby these challenges give you a lot of xp for doing like 40 rebounds with uh eaton thomas you get 575. You could do that over a few games, and that's 575. And the rubies. I've been working on these. 750 XP for completing one of these. That's a lot. For this whole thing, that's about almost 4,500 4, XP for completing the rubies. That that will be a chunk. That's, that's a chunk out of your uh, XP. That's... Um... I don't even know. That'd be like... A 20th maybe 20th no that doesn't that's not right maybe a 20th I don't know that's like that's a pretty good amount and the last thing that I recommend doing uh, this is probably the best bet for you to getting XP is the 2020 players they have challenges the Western Conference Eastern Conference they've got challenges to do and the best challenges are the ones to do I recommend uh, let's see if I can find them um, Give me a second. I think I did them all. I think I did them all. Did I do them all? Yeah, I did them all. It's these, get a triple-double with Luka and get a triple-double with Westbrook. 
you get 2,000 XP right there. You can do it in two in one game. I did it in one game. Uh, you can get so much XP for do these. Like Zion, 22.6 rebounds. That's 650 XP right there. And you could do all five of these guys in a game. Uh, I don't think you could do all five of these guys because you have no center or power forward. Actually, Zion can play power forward, but you don't have a center. So you'd have to go pick a center out of like up here. Like um, Carl Anthony Towns, for example. I haven't done him yet, but 12 rebounds and two blocks you get 300 xp uh i've just been working on the higher xp ones like damien lillard 61 points and you get 1500 xp i think there's one with clay thompson yeah clay thompson 60 points 1500 xp uh any other big ones uh 570 for oh, that's that's the wrong one but any of these like any of these challenges they're uh big big xp but that is going to do it for the video. That's how I recommend getting up to Steph Curry. I'm working on it. I'm starting to do like challenges like the idol, playoff, uh, underdog, back-to-back. Uh, -back. I'm starting to do little challenges, little challenges here and there. But hopefully the next time I do a My Team video, I think next time I'm going to do one will maybe be the draft board. I don't know if I'm going to do that for getting to level 36, but... Yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Hopefully, uh, next time you guys see me, I'll have Steph Curry. I'll be grinding. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. Anything you want us to do. I'm going to set a like goal. I set one on Boopstar's channel. The link will be in the description. But, mm, five likes, maybe? Five likes for a pack and play for us. And, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next one.